couple of nice reds, both kicking still. <laughs> that one's about 4.5, that one's about 4 kilos. So, I'm having a good morning. And it's the middle of, sort of, uh, it's late April. There's not another single boat on the bay that I know of. I don't think there's any rumours of snapper, but I put faith in the Lara 6135 last night. It marked up some beautiful arches in the area. And this is what you get. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can get another one. Whoa! Not giving me much stick. I'm out off Mount Eliza at about 14 metres of water on my own, just on first light. I've got two lovely fish in the boat straight up on the first rack of rods. I'm still on the first rack of rods. Set of rods. I've got another fish. It doesn't feel as big, probably three and a half kilos this one. Maybe four kilos. A bit of weight in him. Didn't give me much stick yet. A little bit of stick then. This is 15 kilos, so they don't really give you stick anyway. I don't normally fish these rods, but moving house and all these are the rods I had available. Here she comes. Coming up. Oh, oh I think a little fella about three kilos. Car walked out of that net then. Lovely big fish. Oh, geez, both those hooks. Both those hooks are fully set, as they nearly always are. Top hook set in the jaw, bottom swinging hook, caught just under the neck there. It's pretty normal. I don't think I've missed a fish in a long time. He's only about three kilos, that one. But, uh, beautiful fish. Basically giving him in my bag this morning. He's gonna just jump on me any second, I know it, I can feel it. I just get the line away from his body. I can pin him against me, that's it. Pliers. Beautiful fish. About three kilos. Now the risk is if I put him back I might not get another fish, I might spook the rest of the school. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? He went. <laughs> oh well there you go. Hopefully it doesn't spook the school and uh, I can get a few more good fish. It's always a risk. Okay, here's the bait presentation I'm using today. Top half I cut off as a, as a hood and I hang just like that. And this is the bottom half, so just a little bit of the hood left in the head. I've got two fixed hooks. The bottom hook comes out the head, but it's pinned through the body into the head and out the head. A bit of line, don't worry about the slack line. And your top hook acts like a keeper. And that's pinned through the rest of the body and through the head inside. Sink it in there, on the swivel, I'm only using 30, 30 pound line straight to the reel. I don't normally fish that way, but that's just what I'm fishing today. It's doing the job. Just put that over there. Feeders. 
glued it down and wait. Yeah, it's a good fish. <laughs> this will be number four. Yeah, it's a little bit better than that last one. I've got five kilos of drag on that reel. Turn that off, I think. I'll leave it on so you can hear it. <laughs> you can hear the, hear the fish running this way. Oh, just so you can see what's going on here with this. <laughs> I'm on again. I've got the other rod going here. <laughs> and I'm on here. It's bloody going crazy, Eddie. This is a good fish, too. I haven't got a reel back on it yet. This one's going to go better than five, I think. Oh, what these ones like this bit, this one. Yeah, he's another good fish. Get some, get some line back on him a bit quicker. Yep, this is a smaller fish, so I'll get him out of the way. That one's still got load on it. The other rod, watch the other rod. What I don't want is a third or fourth rod to go right now. There'll be all sorts of trouble. Get this one up quick. Come on. <clears throat> this one's about four and a half. The other one, I'd love to see it. There you go. Get that rod out of the way. Get that fish out of the net. Oh, it's a good fish, this one. As is so often the case with snapper, you only just hook them sometimes. It was a bloody good fish. Would have been six or seven, I reckon. Anyway, I better get some of these fish back in the water now. And keep trying. There could be bigger fish around, but that drop fish could spell the end. Okay. Didn't have that much pressure on that fish either. Once again, that hook was in there. Top hook, in the, top hook, hook in the jaw. The hook up rate is absolutely, absolutely astounding. When fishing in gear for the fixed hooks, I'm hurting right now. That slapper just landed all its spikes in my leg.
I've got six now. Alright. As you as I you answer the phone, a fish flew out of my left hand. And I just I just dropped an absolute monster, possibly seven or eight kilos. I had it within five feet of the boat. Pulled the hooks. I had a, I got a multiple hook up on camera, on video. I, had, I was fighting one fish, the other one screams off, and then the video watched me drop the fish. Yeah. My mate Nabby's calling. I'm just talking to the camera. I'm doing a, doing a video. It's going off its tits, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a bait back in the water, right? No. Didn't care though. I just fished it anyway. I knew they'd come on here at daylight. Oh, I think so. Well, I just dropped an absolute horse, mate. And now we'll be interested to see if the action shuts down.